Good morning. On a very cold December day. Why, you may ask, am I covering up? My winter choice bike, the Bergman. And covering up nicely. <laughs> well, my wife says I've got a problem. And not just wearing shorts and a small jump in this bloody cold weather. Um, but I am a serial bike owner, purchaser. Um, I just like my bikes. So, I'm wrapping this up because I have brought another BMW, another large tourer. Now, if you've watched my videos, I've had the Pan ST1300, Triumph Trophy 1215, even had a GTR 1400, and a few big other tourers to mention. FGR 1300, the other BMW GS, um, Tigers and so on. They're more adventure tours. These are big tours. This is the 1150 RT, BMW's 2002 model. Um, 95 brake horsepower with the legendary box of engine. I said 1150, not 1200. This is the early model. The good, just lovely big bikes. You're not gonna pull away from the traffic lights, you know, wheeling and so on. They're just proper tours proper get you there get you home again this one fucking seagulls fuck off not quite starship miles but 64,000 miles on the clock while we're on the subject of dash i didn't know what this was when i first got it i mean obviously i knew it was going to do with water and petrol but obviously this is a gear change and a clock which is quite nice you do have a large amount of lights. When you first start these up, you get quite a lot of red lights on this system. I'll tell you why in a second. And obviously fog lights on this one. The front headlight system itself is quite odd. This front one here is your high beam. The one behind it that seems to be blocked is your normal beam. You've got side lights, but it also has like a fog light system. It sort of enables this and this behind there to glow up as well, which is quite nice, really. Tiny LED bulb, I put that in myself. Because these have been uprated, these are white and obviously the side indicators as well. On the other models, and this is from a newer model obviously, or they're a pattern part, but normally they're just orange, which actually is quite nice, they really do glow up well. And you get an electric screen with this. Get your panniers. I'm not sure, I mean obviously this is a added extra. I'm not sure if it actually comes with them because a lot of my C aren't Gen BMW ones, unless they've been an awful lot. But you do get the two in panniers with it. I said 2002 model. From the butt, it doesn't look too bad. Exhaust to this side, and you proper touring shaft drive this side. 95 brake horsepower, as I said. It'll get you there. Once you get your speed up, it's brilliant. The <laughs> little bit it might catch you out, and it's the biggest fault they have actually. But for me, luckily enough, even with six or thousand miles on the hook and 17 years old, it hasn't got it. The rear brake. All BMWs have this funny dual braking ABS system that doesn't work until you're actually moving. It's not a bad thing. Now remember, riding Ducatis, you have to slam your foot on the back brake. <laughs> Don't do that on this. I nearly went over the front. It, it completely threw me. It felt like I jammed on the front brake and hadn't touched it. I thought it was still on the scooter. It allows the front brake and the rear brake to jam on at the same time as it were with the ABS system. Shouldn't lock up. If you touch the front brake gently and then put your foot on the back brake, it's fine. But if you put your foot on the back brake only, I find it really lurches forward. The servos on these or the braking system, master, whatever you call it, they go. And they go badly. And they're a lot of money. This one, as I said, however, is fine. It really works well. This came with the old bags to cover here. Not the actual tank bag. Again, some people use that. It just keeps paint work well. I've had a look underneath. There's no damage to it. So it's nice. The seat does go up a little bit on here. The last rider was very short, like me probably. Um, it had another seat made that's got a scallop out of it, but I didn't need that. And then the rear seat here. Battery's right tucked under here, very difficult to get to. You can just get some wires on there if you need to charge it. I mean, like all bikes, you don't ride them, the batteries will go flat. So why are these great winter riders? Not a lot of money. 
you can pick up a 2002 model now for under £2,000. Yes, it may have rocket ship miles on it, but they're going to have. You get some nice, tasteful extras, panniers, some extra plugs here, heated grips, electric screen, and good all-round wind protection. The plastics as they are here, your legs sit here, you don't get an awful lot of wind on you or rain and the weather and elements and so on. So it's quite nicely done. Very large pocket here. You can put your chain in there as well. It's that big. I know you've got your luggage anyway. Are some models, you can see a little vented here. You get a radio in there. I was toying with the idea of sticking one in <laughs> after my uh, tri trophy. It's actually quite nice. And the pan had it as well. When you first get it, it's a little gizmo. Yeah use it if it's there but actually you get quite used to listening to it something here have to get used to choke okay <laughs> it's very easy to forget you've got it on um, right up turn it on away you go and of course BMW have this high button start here so uh, it's a case of getting used to clicking it up right up holding it and then it flick down again and remembering to pop it down when you're riding along the instruments are fine and there's the biggest BMW problem that you have with early BMWs. Left hand indicator, right hand indicator, cancel both sides. Now, after the fifth or sixth one I've had now, I'm, I am quite getting used to it because you indicate this way, but you always remember you've got to cancel over here and you indicate here, you sometimes will accidentally press the horn. I've done that in the past, but as I said, this one, I'm reasonably getting quite good at it now done several hundred miles on the way to work now and I find that you push and push up so you get used to pushing your thumb up here. So when you're riding you sort of do this and just push it up here with thick gloves on because that's what you're wearing you do this. Heat grips nice having the lights as well I like with an old bike turn the lights off to start them because remember they're old girls. Screen up and on the high beam and flash horn this has got mega horn on it and you do have your hazard lights, which is always really handy. What do you get when you're riding one of these? A slow, methodical plodder. 25 litre tank here, very good miles to the gallon on this massive tank, so you're gonna get where you need to get to, with no real problems. And generally they come with a wealth of history as well, because BMW owners seem to keep all their paperwork. It's quite nice. The main problem, the braking, this one, however, the gear lever, if you've got big or small feet, you cannot adjust this at all. It is where it is, and I find that here is the side stand. And when you stop, the main stand goes back here. I find this very cumbersome um, and could have been designed a lot better. Obviously, I've done it better later on. So, first gear can be a little bit hard to get into, to be honest with you. The gearbox itself is fine, and you stop and you sort of have to keep pushing your foot and you know that's an average size boot so you end up catching it here and it does go down and same as the stand here as I said it comes here and you really do sort of you, you're sort of doing this look see that's an ordinary size old trainer so my biggest gripe now you may have noticed someone stuck these very nice chrome headers bits here covers very nice accessory <laughs> But really handy having the old protection on the side here. Because if you're going to drop this, the first thing it's going to smash. And there's videos out of people dropping these brand new ones as well. Not clever. I had a go on an 09 plate um, on the 1200 RT one. It felt very agricultural, lumpy. I revved it. It was a police bike for a start. It just had nothing. I didn't like it at all. In this weather though, I am really enjoying this. Come the summer, I'm not going to because it's... I'm going to open up and it's going to take ever to wind up. I had um, an old Honda Blackbird, they ride the same, you know, you just open up, it keeps going, keeps going, keeps going. And then look, you hit a roundabout or a bend, you think, oh, too fast, too fast. With the brakes on this, you're not going to get too scared of it, it will brake quite nicely. All in looks, they are your average. Pretty, ugly, I don't know. That's not in one word, that's pretty or ugly. Tourer, I don't think it looks that bad, to be honest with you. It's a lot worse out there. First glimpse from the front, you know you're coming along, you know what I mean? And I'm not having the same problems I had with the scooter. People aren't pulling out in front of me. People are giving me a room to overtake them. And they are not right up my arse when I'm riding along. So I'm actually quite happy with this little baby.
and this will get me through the winter. I am going to winterize it. I'm going to clean it all, and I've got all the sprays on my last video. You see. I don't blame her for winter. I'm not going to abuse her. I'm going to make sure that I protect all the paintwork, front forks, and all the metal bits as well with protection paint, ACA 50, and the other little bits and bobs. My one moment at present minute is the screen. I love having it. You have it low, you get wind in your face. You have it high, and in this weather, it quickly um, mitts up, um, frozen as well, um, with ice on it, and you can't see. So <laughs> it's sort of a nice in between. But I'd rather have something than nothing. Riding a naked bike now would be really quite uh, freezing cold, not very nice. So you are going to get to ride with me on this little bike. That'll be the next video coming up. Watch out for that one. It does ride like any other tourer, but I do a vlog with it as well. Didn't manage to do that on the Bergman because it rained every bloody day. Ducati's parked up. Nice sunny day, take that one out. Otherwise this will come out. So to end before the seagulls get even more noisier. Next video, me riding it. Would I suggest buying one? Yes I would. For under £2,000 for a winter hack, you can't go wrong. You can't get muffs on this though, I will say I looked into it. Well, I bought a set of muffs for the Bergman. I was going to put them on here, but once you get your hands in, you never know what you're pressing with gloves on anyway. So I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Keep them serviced. It is the four plugs. Um, lots of panels will come off here. And I wouldn't like to change the clutch on this. Maybe I can look into that in another video as well. It's not slipping when you think, but the gears can be a bit clunky. It does sound like a Land Rover as well. Um, in first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and whatever gears you can get out of it. When you're first plodding along, you get that noise out of it. Um, it's quirky. <laughs> yeah, I use that word quirky. Right, I am out of here. Thank you so much for watching. 450 videos on my channel. Up and coming videos after this. A ride out on this one. And I've got another Derby to Ray from Josh. 125. Wait for that video. It's going to be a few weeks though. Take care of yourselves on the road, especially in this horrible, horrible weather.